Hello everyone and welcome back to Renowned Explorers International Society, The Emperor's Challenge, Aggressive Champion, and Secret Spotter. And we were about ready to go on our next expedition. Yes, yes, I, yes, I believe we were. Hmm. I think we'll just do that. And now there was a couple things to think about on this next expedition here. Uh, one of the big things, of course, was Egypt. We've talked about that a couple times. There is a treasure there I know how to get, but have not gotten yet because it requires uh, 50 gold to buy it. And every time I've run across it, I didn't have 50 gold left. Very awkward. Um, other than that, was there anything else I was considering? I don't think so. I think that's basically it. This is where all the gold is, too, which is what we want. Um, archaeologist, athlete, survivalist, and rogue. We have an athlete and a rogue. No survivalist, no archaeologist, which is a little awkward, uh, but hopefully we will survive. Nonetheless, let's go. Now, I know that the trader in question appears at one of the oases, so we'll be able to tell probably right at the beginning uh, whether or not there is a trader at any of them uh, or not. And, uh, yeah, that'll let us know right away. The Egyptian Desert. Harry is already complaining about being thirsty. Of course he is. Dolores sighs. Uh, it's tough having to take care of the kids, right, Dolores? And checks the map you got from the renowned Explorers International Society. And uh, not only that, but a kind British uh, expedition leader is going to give us a map of oases to help us replenish our supplies, which we will definitely need. Uh, let's look around at those, that, those oases very quickly. We have an encounter and two that are supplies and no symbol for a trader at any of them. And I believe that means that they just didn't spawn. But uh, if we can, we will go around and check anyway. Now we do have a tactician, we do have a beguiler, and we do have a quick thinker. So witch challenges are very, very good for us, so we will check that out. A group of Egyptians crosses your path. One seems to be a journalist who went to cover a story in the south. Let's try to impress them. Harry has a good percentage chance for that. And indeed, very nicely done. Some well-placed compliments. And with some well-placed compliments and a telling story, Harry convinces the journalist to write a blog post about you. Or, no, a big article. Wow, I was not reading that correctly. Not a blog post, a big article. That's better than a blog post, I think. Probably, right? I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm assuming that a big article is better, but uh, either way, I wouldn't complain about either one. Let's put it that way. Uh, you can see it already. Dolores leads explorers to uncover Egyptian secrets. Very good. And, oh, another witch challenge. Might as well check that out as well. Exploring the desert sometimes becomes, easy, sometimes becomes easier when someone uh, sets up camp while others explore the surroundings. Now, in this case, the person we want to leave behind is our tactician. They are going to be the best person at setting up camp. So we should send the other two people away. And Bia is our level 5 tactician. So Harry's going to go exploring. And Dolores is going to go exploring. Bia thought they'd escaped the dangers of exploration for once when suddenly the camp is attacked by bandits. But... We left our tactician behind, which was the right thing to do, so 100% chance. By using nearby rock formations and tools left behind by the crew, Bia creates a makeshift fortress. The bandits see that this is going to be a tough job and leave. Uh, to boot, Harry comes back from from scouting with some gems. Alright. Ooh, chance at some supplies, but we don't have a diplomat or an archaeologist, so that's not likely to go well. But we do have a wits challenge with an encounter, and we like both of those things. A private British expedition force. They're in possession of a full set of canopic jars. Um, now, normally, I would just have someone talk to the investigator. Harry could do a decent job here. And you know what? I may do that anyway, because every time Harry succeeds on the wheel, he gets his uh, bonus, doesn't he? Oh, no, we haven't unlocked his campfire card yet, so he doesn't get his bonus. Never mind. We're just going to convince him with violence. Which is good for our uh, main quest. If we had unlocked Harry's campfire card there, we would have been better off trying to uh, get him to roll. Uh, because that would have let us... Uh, that would have let us get his underdog perk. 
But because we haven't played this campfire card, he doesn't actually get that bonus when he succeeds on a roll of adding one to two uh, campaign two gold uh, collect tokens. Gold or collect tokens. So his name. Uh, ooh. I was hoping to let Harry buff himself up this turn. And I, you know what? I may do it anyway. This is going to mean we leave an extra person here that's able to attack Dolores, which is a little sad. But Dolores and uh, Beal have pretty good defenses, actually. Harry is our one with only one armor, so he's the one I should worry about. Um, so yeah, let's just pin this person down here. Make sure that she can only attack Dolores with her shovel if she chooses to do so. And we'll hope that the rest of these three kind of crowd in together, which will be very good for us anyway because we do have the efficient challenge. So this is a good opportunity to try to get that. And they did cluster up really nicely, so we might be able to. Uh -huh. Ooh, that was actually a lot of damage on Bia. But uh, she did survive, which is all that matters. Can Harry hit all four here? Yes, because his cone attack is incredible. So that'll give us the efficient, and that'll just finish off this combat. Very nice. All right. With the investor defeated, the rest of the expedition force pales and makes a run for it. You calmly take what comes to you. The canopic jars are yours. Uh, extra renown for that, which of course is great. And you know what? I think I will take six collect. Uh, six collect is going to be better for us than two treasure hunt, probably. Mm, well, it might be close. Fourteen twenty-three gold per collect. Times three, so you're looking at 40 to 70 gold. Is one treasure hunt worth 40 to 70 gold? It's probably close. I think it's usually like 50 to 75. But we also get the status. But treasure hunt gives something as well. Is it status? I'm not sure. I think we're going to take the collect. Uh, and the thing that uh, threw me over the edge, the thought that threw me over the edge to the collect instead of the treasure hunt, is we can change collect in for secrets, remember, from BS Buy Circle. Can't do that for treasure hunts. Uh, it's time. Dolores has rounded up some Desert of Memphis luchadores to compete in a wrestling tournament. It's going to be epic. A huge crowd has gathered to watch the matches. All right. Can Los Exploradores break through in the international wrestling scene? Ah, so this is based on all of your athletes. 50% chance. Ooh. It's not as good as I would have hoped. But we do manage it. Nice. The final is between El Nino against the Titan. There, El Nino manages to take the victory after a grueling match and a bald eagle pile drive deluxe. Dolores has never been so proud of someone. I mean, okay, I can see that. Let's go. The crew is happy they could learn under Dolores' excellent leadership. The crew trusts Dolores more than ever. Watch out, world. After you're done exploring, you better prepare for the spectacle of Los Exploradores. Uh, let's see, did we get more buffs from that? Yes. Oh, interesting. A free quick thinker perk. 10 spirit and 10% attack power on Harry. That's great. Anything that gives extra attack power to Harry is awesome. We can often get Harry over 100% attack, or over 100 attack power, and that'll just help even more. Uh, same thing for, for Bia. And, uh, and Dolor's got 10% speech power, or 10... Yeah, 10% speech power and 5 grit. Okay. Let's see if we can grab some supplies. It's unlikely, but worth a try. 44% chance? Is that worth a try? Yeah, that's pretty good. 50%? Almost? I mean, close? Kind of? We did get it. <laughs> so that'll push back up to 5 supplies, which is great. And some extra collect as well, which, which I appreciate. And uh, we'll go to this oasis and see if we can get even more. There's the oasis. Uh, a lake with some fish, date palms, plants, and a few other people who are resting here. Uh, Bia is going to have the best chance of picking dates from her one level and athlete uh, and her very, very high armor. So we'll try that. There we go. Uh, a gust of wind shakes the tree, but Bia holds on, and all the dates fall down, enough to make some money. One extra collect. All right. And we did get two supplies from everyone filling the water bottles while we were busy. Uh, we do want to head over to these these other oases, so let's go through as many encounters as we can on the way there. You stumble upon a graveyard full of camel carcasses, some still rotting. There is one carcass moving in the distance. You see a group of scorpions eating the carcass. Alright, and Bia, because she's a level 5 tactician, is very prepared for this.
All right. One extra supply for solving aggressive from our uh, specialty entourage. Mm, let's see here. Let's just take out one right here. This is to give Harry room to stand and uh, use his AoE. Because remember, he can't be standing next to anyone. Uh, at least not next to an enemy in order to use it. And yeah, that'll work. If that had not worked, I would have tried to take out this scorpion first and then have him stand next to Bia. Uh, for the, the buff that Bia has. She's currently holding an item that gives 15% extra attack power to everyone standing next to her. So I could have done it that way if that AoE hadn't been quite enough. But it was. Alright, cool. We get some study from that and two levels up. So we can take yet another tactician perk. This would be the last one we need to get level 6, which is the maximum for dialogue options. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Plus it gives her up to 50 attack power, which is uh, pretty awesome. Harry is actually above that already, 56 attack power, and uh, we can give him another rogue perk if we wanted to here. Uh, puts him up to level 6, and uh, yeah, I think I will do that, in fact. There we go. Alright. So we got a very good athlete, a very good tactician, and a very good rogue, and we're sort of weak on everything else, but we'll try to get there. Let's uh, keep heading over to this oasis. Oh, and uh, the obelisk. Alright, we'll go check that out in a minute. Suddenly you find yourself surrounded by British goons. One of them steps forward and says, Hello, chaps. It seems to me that you are those nosy explorers that entered Egypt a while ago. Uh, we can try to have one person escape. 90% chance is pretty good, so let's try it. It says everyone escape, but that never happens. You, you get one or none. Only Bia manages to escape. The others are taken to the British encampment in the desert. You arrive at the camp entrance. All your belongings are, being, are taken away where they are stored. One of the guards asks, which one of you is the leader? And Dolores raises her hand. Welcome, welcome. Why don't you take a seat? It says here that you are explorers from the renowned Explorers International Society. We are currently investigating some things and can't allow you to roam free in Egypt. Uh, we can punch him in the face, which costs us a resolve. We can insult him, or we can try to negotiate for some better cells. 25% uh, chance? I mean, we might as well. There's no real penalty for failure. At least not that I've seen. All right, the camp leader becomes irritated and calls the guards, take them to the dirty cells. One more thing, if you ever use any kind of violence against my men during your captivity, I have the authority to make you an enemy of the state, which basically means exploring will become very, very hard. Now take this chap away. So this basically means that we, if we get into a fight, we cannot use aggressive attacks unless we want to make things really difficult on ourselves. Um, all right, you hear something in the middle of the night, and when you wake up, you see the cell doors are open. You hear a voice whisper, get out while you can, I left some of your basic equipment in your cell. How kind. As you leave the tent, you bump into Bia. Bia was about to free the rest of the crew. The others are surprised it was not Bia, in fact, who saved them in the first place. Uh, during the night, Bia distracted, distracted most of the patrols over to the other side of the encampment, which means there is now far less of a chance of getting caught. And uh, we can either go check out some other tents, 95% chance, or just go get our things. And we'll go check out some other tents, might as well. 95% chance is pretty good. Ooh, I was worried there for a second, though. Uh, you enter a tent that looks like it's storing some things, which turns out to be true. Many lesser treasures are stored here, so we get two treasure hunt. Uh, and there, we can try to sneak past the guards uh, to get our belongings. We'll go ahead and do that. You see a the, you see your belongings stored neatly on the table together with a note. Hello there. I hope you got out of your cells okay. I always wanted to be an explorer of the society, but I failed the entry test in the Scottish Highlands. I joined the British Empire so that I could still see some of the world, but it's just plain wrong to lock up people like yourselves. Good luck on your travels, and I left you a little something. And we get the Golden Scarab. Uh, let's see, we can look at our treasure hunts now. 30 status and 50 to 75 gold. So that actually makes them pretty pretty good. However, uh, a bunch of study may be nice to try to finish off some of those um, some of those research papers we've been having trouble with. Six study? I mean... Yeah... Pretty good. I think we will take the sixth study. That's a lot of study for one treasure, and uh, it might be our only chance of finishing off those papers, so let's do it. All right, and we'll go check out the obelisk, definitely. Might as well. You see a needle on the horizon. You decide to make a small detour to explore the needle further. That's exactly what happened, in fact. 
Upon closer inspection, you notice some strange hieroglyphs. Um, Harry mentions the possibility of an entrance with, within the vicinity of an obelisk such as this one. Now we can study the hieroglyphs that takes an archaeologist, which we don't have, or we can just try to search around uh, to find the entrance at a cost of one supply, and we'll go ahead and do that. Fortunately, we do have a rogue with us, uh, and Harry can find a secret tunnel because he is a very good rogue. The strange stones were very loose, and after taking some out, you discover a secret tunnel behind the stones. You find ancient scribblings and some valuables. All right. You arrive in the room of the pharaoh. There are all kinds of pottery, mummified animals, and hieroglyphs, and a scepter on top of the pharaoh's tomb. And we will definitely take it. All right. Zero to one research from study. Six collect, or plus one collect whenever a scientist succeeds on the adventure wheel. We don't have a scientist, so we'll just take six collect. You take the scepter, but as you do, you hear the door behind you closing slowly. 60% chance, we'll go ahead and take it. And there we go. Dolores reaches the door first and tries to lift the door to buy some time, and everyone makes it out. Alright, we're out of the obelisk, we got a free treasure, very nice. Bia asks the crew if she could send some of the valuables you found to her spies. They're very proficient in retrieving secrets or two if you can fund them. I would like this. I would like three, in fact. And we can indeed get three by exchanging 12 collect. We have 24, so that's half our collect. That's a lot. Uh, that's a lot of collect. But Rival is getting close to getting Secret Spotter, and I don't want to risk him getting to it. So, there we go. Now, I may not end up doing this again. Uh, this may be the last time I do this, because we're about to, hopefully, grab the... Especially the Entourage that gives us a secret for every encounter that we uh, complete aggressively. So then I might not need to after this. But at least uh, at least it's helped us keep afloat till now. Keep it keep ahead of Rival. This whole spy story isn't making any sense to Harry. As a member of the Round Explorers, Harry is positive that he would have known about such an explorer's spy circle. Unless it's the anti-explorers. Could it be? Harry keeps a close eye on Bia. Alright. And, uh, well, we are out of supplies, or very close to it. There's our points for Secret Spotter. Very nice. So, I'm definitely tempted to go head over to this, uh, oasis. And I think I will do so. A cryptic hieroglyphic tablet. Oh, uh, we have no chance of succeeding on that, really. So, we'll just take the tablet as something to study. And I would not mind going out of this witch challenge, actually. Harry lost some speech defense. That's okay. And there is our campfire. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right, there is Orphan Child. Uh, we've talked about this a couple times. We would like to start gaining extra stats from Collect every time Harry succeeds on a spin. So that would be nice. 25% extra gold from all Collects and Treasure Hunt would also be pretty good. Um, but at this point, I think we're going to go with Orphan Child. I will hold on to Ultimate Athlete. Um, because that will get very, very good once Dolores gets another level or two of Athlete. So we'll, we'll keep that. And uh, we'll play Orphan Child. Harry grew up an orphan. He never met his mother or father. However, he's always kept an upbeat attitude towards life. It has given him an underdog status and everyone wants to see him succeed. I think out of the two people here, uh, because Bia is a mercenary and Dolores is a wrestling star, uh, I don't know that either of them would be overly, um, overly touched by Harry's background here. But uh, given the choice, it might be Bia. Uh, we don't know what Dolores' home life was like. It do doesn't say. Um, but being a mercenary, I, I bet that Bia probably didn't have a very good home life young. She might even have been an orphan herself. Uh, I know for the Greek mercenaries that um, um, a lot of them roamed around a lot and didn't really have permanent homes. Hmm. I don't know. Well, let's, just say, let's say Bia will, will be touched by this. Bia thinks Harry, Harry's attitude is very admirable. Many would drop their heads when faced with such bad luck, but not Harry. His positive attitude is commendable. All right. And uh, she gets a five grit from that. Okay, there you go. Uh, now, there is an encounter and a witch challenge here, and I would love to go get that. I am out of supplies already, so this is going to cost us another debuff, but I think it might be worth it. A group of scorpions. All right, now we can sneak in and just grab those coins, or we can just fight them. And in this case, we actually want to fight them. We need those fights for aggressive champions, so let's just do it. Even though we could succeed with Harry and get the underdog bonus, um, I think at this point, the fact that we've only had two aggressive encounters in this run is a little bit concerning to me, and I want to up that. Let's see what Harry can hit here. Uh, can he hit them all? Oh, almost. That's all right. 
We should be able to finish off the last one between Dolores and Bia, I think. Uh, if not, that would be kind of sad. Yeah, Bia has no problem. She doesn't even need her second attack. Remember, she gets a second attack on her normal attack now. Oh, that was very efficient. Alright, we didn't get anything extra, but we did get the gold that was there, and we got our aggressive champion. Harry loses attack power. That is rough. Remember that when you get a debuff on your attacker speech power, it's percentage uh, debuff. So the higher attack you have, the worse it is for you. And in this case, he went from 57 to 42. Quite a drop. Let's go try to get some supplies back. Alright, we have some locals, some British, and we can just fulfill the, fill the canteens and rest. Now, if we approach the British, there's a chance we'll get into a fight, and I actually want to fight right now, so let's do that. Uh, actually, let's just steal their supplies. Yeah, let's just steal them. There we go. We just stole two of their supplies. That's actually even better for us. Some buried scorpions appear out of the sand. All right, another fight. We'll take it. Oh, and a red scorpion to boot. Okay. We'll have to check that red scorpion and see what his defenses are like. I bet he's different. Ah, becomes stronger when his allies have died. All right, very interesting. And a lot of speech defense on all of these scorpions. 50 speech defense. That's that's a ton. Um, and we currently cannot get Harry's AoE off because he's being stopped by the scorpion at his back. So let's take out that scorpion. And that's actually be really good for us because that means that Harry can now move up next to Bia, which means he's going to gain 15% attack up to 49. Not nearly as good as he would have without that debuff, but hey... 49 is pretty good. And we are going to make this Red Scorpion much stronger by taking out all of his allies. Uh, but we also got the Efficient, so can't complain about that. Ooh, and Triple Slash is pretty good here. But so is Attack. I think I'll do Triple Slash. There we go. Very nice. That was not hard at all, was it? And we got our Mr. And Mrs. Aggressive as well. And now up to 4 out of 6 Aggressive Champion. The Red Scorpion digs himself back in, and the remaining Scorpions soon follow. At least now you have something to talk about during the remainder of this boring, sandy day. And Dolores has leveled up. Excellent. Now, we don't want to give her Athlete Stamina. She's already carrying an item that gives her that. Uh, so we might as well take Quick Thinker Wits. Why not? And uh, we do need to give her the, uh, the Grappling Hook when we get back to camp now, because she has that extra slot. Alright, let's go ahead and move toward the exit here. The crew finds nine of interest, all right. Uh, we do have a event here. Now, I'm guessing this is the event that gives you the free archaeology perk, which we don't really need. We don't have an archaeologist, but hey, it's a free perk, and we only have to take one debuff to get it, so I'm going to. Yep, this is exactly what it is. Something happens. Oh, no, this is something different. Uh, the camp is being raided by bandits. All right, so this is the event, indeed, that can give you an archaeology perk. But I forgot, I've seen this before, but I forgot that you can actually get different perks based on your party composition. And in this case, we're going to get uh, something else, which is cool. Now, who do I want to give a perk to? Maybe Dolores? I believe this can give you a variety of perks. Uh, and I, th I think a tactician is one of them. Um, but we already have six levels of tactician, so I don't really care about that. I'm pretty sure Quick Thinker is one, though, and, uh, that might be a good one to give to Dolores. Let's say Dolores is something amazing. Dolores turns the tables, either comes up with a new guerrilla tactic, defenses, or gets permanent attack. Okay, I misremembered. It's either one of two tactician perks, which we could have given, uh, to Bia, but she already has defense and guerrilla, so it actually would have been a waste. Um, but you also have the option of attack permanently increased by two, in which case I would have preferred it to go to Harry. Uh, unfortunate. But hey, we shouldn't, we shouldn't deny Dolores all of her, you know, bonuses. At least she gets a little bit of help here. And, uh, Dolores comes charging in and knocks a threatening bandit out. Harry is grateful, and with newfound morale, you manage to drive the bandits off. All right. And Harry loses some crit. All right. So that puts Dolores up at 37 attack, which is way less than the rest of our party members, even with the debuff Harry is taking. Uh, but that's alright. That's the way it goes sometimes. And we're going to pass up on that last o oasis. We don't want to take that many debuffs. Alright, go into the Chamber of War. Now this is normally where you either have to talk down the general. Um, you know what? Let's take some study. We need that. 
or we can be tactical and we do have a good tactician so let's play the game of war and bia is going to play the game of war very good what a tactical masterclass by bia it bia's egyptian chariots outflank the general's hattie spear division and bia delivers a decisive blow to the general's forces impressive you are worthy of meeting sackman the door opens um you know what get another get another study why not and here we go the sacred ground to the goddess Sekhmet, and we are going to fight bash tit now um we are going to be aggressive this makes uh bash tit uh, a little bit more upset than normal and uh and she will try to be aggressive back to us and that's fine not a big deal i believe it's bash tit isn't it yeah ba oh well bass tit bass tit yeah uh, okay close enough and i think we're going to do our normal tactic here of that i actually haven't been doing much lately and i can't actually reach i was gonna say bring two people back here take out these two and then and then let harry buff himself up but we actually can't reach back there so instead we'll just back up back over here why not and we're going to use oh never mind we're not i was gonna say we're gonna use dolores to make harry confident but uh harry's actually out of range we'll do that next turn if we need it we may not mm, they're clustered up all right not amazingly we might be able to get a decent aoe off we'll see hello Marilyn what do you want that's pretty good um we cannot quite hit as many as I'd like to obviously I, I mean I'd love to hit all of them but yeah let's bring Dolores back let's buff up Harry so that he can also take out that last uh mummy that wasn't going to be killed by the AoE and we'll bring him up here and oh maybe if we roll high we'll see hopefully we did roll high good even the uh, gray mummy went down it's a little bit stronger and there goes bash tit into her aggressive form uh someone actually pointed out that she gets different resistances when she's in her aggressive form uh that doesn't appear to be true that's that's interesting i'll have to keep that in mind in the future not that different it doesn't look like but uh maybe enough to matter uh what do we want to do here there's a lot of mummies here i guess i'll just uh i'll have bia try to take out some of these so that at least the loris isn't taking four hits next turn we should be able to take out Bastion next turn uh, as well. Between Harry and Bia, that'll probably be enough just by themselves. Yeah, Dolores doesn't take much damage right now, which is good. Lots of armor on her. Alright, Bastion, Bastion, what are you gonna do? That hurt. Yeah, that, that was pretty painful. I'll, I'll give you that. And uh, Bia actually can't reach. Uh, awkward. All right. Hmm. I'll leave Harry there for a second. Ah, good. She can reach from this angle. Perfect. And triple slash attacks twice, three times if the target is terrified. Uh, Bastet is not terrified. Can we make her terrified with Dolores? No. Dolores can't get in range. All right. We could terrify her with Bia, but that sort of defeats the purpose. Let's just do a double attack on Bastet, and maybe Harry can finish her off. Probably not. It looks like quite a bit of health is left. Ah, yeah, with a terror, or with a enrage, because she's weak to that. Very nice. And that should mean that we do end aggressively. So we're only one fight away from getting our next aggressive champion. Unfortunate that we couldn't get it during this um this expedition but hey that's all right five study and all crew members gain five speech defense permanently uh when everything clears up she's left something behind a mask of gold and precious metals four treasure hunt four secret oh wow uh yeah we're gonna take four secret that gives us another secret spotter right off the bat it's pretty darn good and a bunch of research as well run you made it out. Just as Harry gets out of the temple with parts of the loot, the whole complex collapses. I should have woken up earlier to get here. Impressive work, Dolores. Wait, who said that? It's Rivalo, of course. 
Have we seen anything about the anti explorers? Uh, no, unless you count to be a shady spy circle, but we have no proof, so we're not gonna rat her out quite yet. All right, back to London. Let's go. Ravelo says some things. We don't care because he's Ravelo, and we hate him, or something to that effect. Well, we probably don't hate him. We, well, maybe we do. Yeah, maybe we hate him. I'm not sure. We at the very least despise him. That's not quite the same thing. All right, a uh, pretty good amount of treasures. That should give us a decent amount of insight, which wasn't true last time we finished an, a, uh, an expedition. 12 collect for each level of athlete, 6 collect for our each level of rogue, and the extra insight from our research antiquity. All right, good amount of status again, just enough to maybe afford that uh, guy we were talking about that will give us the secret at the end of every aggressive, uh, every aggressive, every aggressive fight. Yes, every aggressive fight, um, every aggressive encounter. So that'll be good. Rivalo gets some points for building orphanages, and we'll get some points for not taking three star or less expeditions. And uh, we will work on our over map next time. In the meantime, we do want to contact a city. I would love to contact. Beijing eventually. For now, I think I'll just unlock Timbuktu. It's not a great place, but it, it may come in handy. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching as we get a couple points from our, re our renown. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please put a like on it. If you would like to see more in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, thank you again for watching Renowned Explorers. I will see you next time.